Hey everyone. So probably the most asked question that I get is how do you remove the resin drips from your paintings? Um, as you know, when I do a painting, I tape off my backs and I leave that tape on until my painting is finished. And as you can see, I have a ton of drips from my resin coating. But today I'm going to show you how I get them off. Um, normally you could fight with it and try to... Um, pop these off with your fingernails, but why bother, right? So um, I did purchase a uh, heat proof gloves from Amazon, and I do have these in my Amazon shop. And also a heat gun that has this attachment on it. Um, any heat gun will work. Um, I do have some in my Amazon shop that come with this. Um, the best one probably to get would be a Wagner or something that's more of a brand name with a good warranty. So before I take those drips off, I like to pull my pins and I always use pliers when I do this because sometimes those pins might get some resin on them and um, they get stuck and you end up breaking the pin itself. And I break a lot of pins anyway. <laughs> so I just like to stick those aside and what I'll do now is start here. I like to lift up one corner. I put the heat glove on my left hand. And I turn my heat gun on a medium heat on low. So let it get warm. Just run it across your arm. Wait till it's warm. You don't want it super hot because you don't want to burn anything. So I try to get up under one of the drips or under a piece of tape. And once you get started, this goes really fast because it starts to heat up uh, the tape as well. And just stick it, don't bother with picking that and putting it in the garbage at one time. Just start a pile because the sticky part on your pile will help pull the sticky part that's on your glove. So I just run it. along the sides and I like to um, turn my paintings around a few times because I want to make sure that I'm getting that edge. So the corner came up really easy. So you're just warming that up and you will get spots where your tape might rip like right here and I'm going to show you a prime example of that. So you have that drip there, go in at an angle, pop that up, and once you get it started, go ahead and start pulling again. It's really not hard, and oh my goodness, this glove has been a lifesaver. I used to do this without gloves, so you had to like really stay away from the heat gun because it does get quite warm. So once you get that corner up, you're kind of on a stretch here. I got it stuck and I couldn't get it off. And we're just going to run it. Now, I used several different kinds of tape, so this works with all of them. But I'm not going to sit and fight with my fingernails to get drips off when I can just do this. You don't want to push too hard because this will pop off of your heat gun. But if it does, and the nice thing with this glove is, if this bends, you can pull it back down. If this pops off your heat gun, you can pick it up because the glove will protect your hand. I wouldn't mind these gloves for using those curling irons that, you know, don't have the glove with them, the wands. I'm just going to get it started again. There was a staple there, that's what I hit. So when I do these, of course I resin eight or nine paintings at a time. So I just take a day and just pop it all off. And this has been sitting for quite a while. And it's still coming off really easy. And this is the stone coat resin on this one. Stone coat art coat. 
very good resin. So I'm going to get that tape pulled up. So now when this sets for a couple more days, then I will sand that very edge with some 220 and um, get it nice and smooth so we don't have any rough edges. So that worked great. And sometimes you'll see little pieces on here afterwards, just get them off quickly because your resin's not completely cured and you don't want them to stick. But this came out beautiful and look, no drips. So yeah, that was pretty easy. So keep that in mind um, when you're doing resin work, get yourself a heat gun. Um, this was just a cheapie that I bought. Alan bought me a brand new one. I have not taken it out of the case yet. Uh, I believe, whoops, <laughs> there's my other glove. So the nice thing is you'll have a spare glove because you get a pair. Just let me move this one and I'll show you the one that Alan got me. He got me a Wagner. This was my Christmas present that I asked for. But it does come with this type. So this one has little grooves on it. I'm not sure why, because there's no grooves here, but it just pops right on there. And this is a wider one. So if you're doing big uh, cradle boards, this would be perfect for cradle boards. But I'm gonna get that puppy out here pretty soon. This one's nice too, it comes with a scraper. So if you're doing wood, you can just scrape it off. But it has a lot of nice attachments with it. So, that's going to be it for this video, guys. If you have any questions about resining, um, feel free to ask me. You can email me at christinawaltart at yahoo.com. Um, also, we have a ton of beautiful paintings for our auction on Sunday. Uh, that is at 8 p.m. right here on the channel. Uh, Sunday at 8 p.m., don't forget, we are donating 75% of our proceeds to St. Jude's. Uh, research hospital for the kids. Um, we have about 60 some paintings that we're going to be auctioning. Uh, buy or pay shipping. And we're going to do timers at one minute. We want you to bid high. Um, bid what you want to pay for that painting because the, the bidding is going to go fast. Um, we are going to be moving, moving, moving. We also have coasters which are heat proof coasters so for coffee. There will be sets of four. Um, I do have some stragglers I might mix up and do some, uh, you know, mixed sets so that you can give them as gifts for coworkers or whatever. But um, we look forward to everybody being there and supporting um, a great cause. Um, also, join our group on Facebook, the Parage Posse with Christina Welch. Um, I have my paint information in there. We just came out with our new spring colors. They're absolutely beautiful. You can get all that information in the group, or you can email me and I'll send you some pics of what um, colors I have available. And uh, the winter collection is on clearance. So you can also check them out in my Etsy shop, and that link is below in the description. And we also have um, all of our links for the Amazon shop where you can get the glove. Um, I'll put this a type of this heat gun in the shop so you'll be able to find one. And I'll make sure that it has this attachment. It'll be either this one or the smaller one like I was using. But thanks so much for watching, guys. Hope to see you Sunday. Bye now.